Welcome back to the 9th of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio. And today we're going to do some, well, camera stuff. Not the most interesting topic, but I guess quite important. So, for example, what you're seeing in front of you, normally um, the camera is following and focusing the guy. But as you can see, this isn't completely true because I'm just going with the cursor a little bit and the camera is actually following more the cursor but at some point as you can see we are going to the edges of the screen it cannot go any further and this is what we're going to clone in well let's say one or two videos i guess two because this is gonna be quite a lot of things of course here this little part we're going, not going to clone but for example what we're going to do is this part so this is i guess the more interesting part so without further ado this is one up in the I am a developer and programmer. So hey, if you like what you're seeing, consider subscribing, sharing, and liking. Of course, happy new year because hey, the crappy new year started. So let's go and do the good stuff. Alright, so basically this is what we're gonna do in the well the next two video tutorials here. So first of all, as you can see, the camera is following our guy. This is what we did the last time, but eh. This is actually now based on an object. And as you, as you can see now, boom, we can actually have this kind of fake cursor. And we actually do the same as in Hotline Miami because you could actually do this radial, but Hotline Miami kind of do does this on a box on the, where you actually can zoom or kind of uh, set your target to it, as you can see. So eh, we are just uh, going in a rectangle so not a radial of course you can do this in a radial because i would say this is better but hey let's remake that stuff and of course we're gonna do full screen because full screen is never a bad idea so let's go into our project are you hotline clone come on come on, come on. and we did quite a lot of few things so first of all we did our view and set it up and said like hey follow the player and let's undo this because now we're gonna do this on an object of course the rest we can actually for now leave of course this is definitely not optimal but hey this is stuff for later sprites get this lost object player the background eh, let's go on the objects and remove that because we're gonna uh, have to modify the player and of course create our camera so objects camera and give it a nice icon so here we go one drag and drop and of course our dummy yeah self-made <laughs> as you can see very art artistic from my side um, no that's not what i wanted to do and align it middle center so definitely is better and of course here uh we're gonna go to our camera and give it this nice little sprite and of course import it under instances in the room so here you go and then it is functional and we can do stuff so let's go for icons and just import it here because the sprite we don't need to see it's already assigned of course this one yeah this one we can of course get rid too because we're gonna use it later on for um, well the dummy which we're gonna spawn from the player but now first of all a few things which are kind of important this is similar to my um, videos which I did for Game Maker Studio here in making the camera of course this will be a shorter version of that one so because I don't want to do like resolutions and, 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 and all the adjustment stuff maybe later for now this shouldn't be bothering us at all so first of all we need a variable which we call target this is kind of important because let's say we are following our player but we want to zoom in or something or for example we want to want to go to a specific place and therefore it makes sense to switch the target and then go smoothly between those two kind of targets or for example you want to do a cutscene and just want to go from this main player to let's say a cutscene which is playing here so therefore it would make sense to reset the uh, target so therefore we're gonna set it for now to the player because for now he's just the only focus and then of course we have a step event and here we're gonna do our 
magic and this is not too much magic in my opinion so what we can actually do is so quickly you can see we can uh, actually let's start it and now you will see that we will land at this position because now we have no target so you understand what's actually happening so now we are at our trees come on trees as you can see we are at the top left corner we have no target for now so Sweet. So what we're gonna do is say like, hey, camera set, then, then. no, that's not uh, what I wanted. Here we go. Camera set view position. For that, you need a few inputs. First of all, which camera we want to actually uh, change. So this is camera zero. Let's go down. Here we go and camera zero and now we need a position of course we could say like easy peasy hey our player x and our player y and hopefully uh, you will see from this point on this is not the best idea because the camera is locked to the top left position which is never a good idea so maybe you see in the top left corner this is our dude mm, not the best idea so very quick recap so let's say you're having um, your your guy here and then the camera is being spawned and the camera has a few properties so first of all x and y positions are sitting top left therefore uh, we need the width and the height here of the camera setup and therefore we're just setting hey get the positions from the player but minus the, the width of the whole thing divided by two because we need to have the we need it halfway in of course the same for the Right. this is what we exactly gonna do of course this is uh, not the best way for now but how can we grab the height and width I did this in another video tutorial so links in the description below if you want to have it a little bit more detailed but for now we're gonna uh, have two variables camera width and camera height and the good thing about this for example if you change the, the camera properties this will all the time update it and therefore it's all the time relative to whatever camera width and height uh, positions you're having so this is always good so therefore we just say like hey camera width and then store the width of which camera well camera zero so we do say like hey minus the width by half let's make this a little bit more readable now let's make this like this because hey i guess this is the easiest way to read this thing and then the same for the for this value and divide it by two and for now we basically did the same stuff what we did here for the camera which was the automatic stuff so as you can see now it does work and it is following the way it should be so this is already pretty good and now we are having a few issues because first of all we want it to zoom correctly so let's say we are going out of the area which we want to be so let's say for example we are going out here going out and going out and actually we can theoretically go out because <laughs> our background is infinite this is not good first of all our player shouldn't be going there and second of all our camera can follow in here not good and therefore we need to uh, fine-tune uh, on what kind of portion of the game we want to the camera to follow and therefore once again this is for example if you have a room and it's this is the whole room width and the height then the top left position is of course is zero zero and then you're going x x x i don't know to this point this is then the room width which is your maximum value and this is your room height which is your maximum value concerning on your y axis just for the understanding so therefore we go back into game maker and now we can actually store that into a nice little variable variables therefore what we're gonna do is let me check it out yes we're gonna do it like this we say like hey here a little description text get the x and y position of the target and then sh don't show anything outside of the room therefore we have our first variable i don't know call it cam camera x or whatever it doesn't really matter so basically this is relative to the position of the player and in bounds of the room this is kind of important so therefore we say like hey not the player but our targets 
X position. And then we are saying like, hey, we want to go, of course, at the very position, which is the normal one. So basically, this is the value which we want to check if we can have it. And therefore we say like clamp and clamp just means like, hey, um, take our take a first value and then what kind of values can it go between this and the min and the max value and you, and you can never go out and therefore the camera will get stuck at some point and then you the player can go out of the room but you cannot so therefore what is our minimal value it's zero because hey you cannot go more than zero and the maximum value is room width yes room width but not like this you have to go of course and minus the camera width by this point so we won't be going completely outside and of course we can do the same fun part and quotations fun part for the camera y value for y take the height and of course go for the room height and yeah once again minus it to this value and for example we can now just take these values in and replace them boom camera x and camera y's and then we are setting uh, the position or resetting the position of the camera where it should be so let's check it out we can walk 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 and at some point as you can see we can actually go out of the room but the room stays snappy where it should be so let's check it out for the maximum values because top left was the minimum value come on come on walk faster dude as you can see uh, cannot go more than the total width and cannot go more than the total height of course i can go out but the camera say like eh this is my maximum value and to give it some smoothness what we can actually do is grab the old value of our camera so we're just saying like hey grab camera x this is the old value which is being stored and of course being reset here and what we can actually do is this is then so the the camera actually moves quite smooth which i really really like therefore we use the lob function lob and we want to lob between two values first of all our grab value which is the current one and of course the one which where we want to target to so this is then the camera x which is then well target specific therefore what we can actually do is here and say like hmm in our lab function what kind of amount do we actually want to use so how hard we want to and therefore i don't know let's go for smooth and set it to 0.1 and use this value and of course here you can change that and depending how hard and how not so hard do you want to scroll and of course go between those two values and let's go minus um, y and y once again and of course then we are pretty much done let's check this out and for now this is not doing too much so if you change the smooth value um, and this is as you can see and then the camera is following a little up but this is of course much 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 smoother because we are lurping this value which is giving the camera um, not this thing which lo is looking choppy when you do it on well this left side so basically this is what we're gonna do here and then uh, last thing then we are pretty much finished with this part and then the next part we will spawn our uh, dummy so we can actually kind of do this so kind of zooming part what we're going to do is a few things first of all let's go for other then room start and say like hey let's go to full screen because full screen is always good good and then you can input a value which is one or zero zero for off and uh, not get we are setting it so set full screen boom and then it will zoom into that of course this will be a little bit tricky to get out so therefore we're gonna just introduce a dummy key which we're gonna later um, well ignore so let's go for digits let's go for letters 
I don't know which one we are going to use. Let's go for X. Yeah, let's go for X because why not? And then we say game end. Here we go. And then, uh, for example, once we start it up now, you will see that uh, the whole thing is getting like boomed into full screen. But now you don't have your X on your window. So basically, this is sometimes a little bit tricky to get out. And therefore, we just press our X button and it is gone. So this is what I wanted to show you. Alrighty, see you for the next tutorial, the 10th then uh, tomorrow for the updated camera functionality. Have a good one. One up indie.